With the ever-growing populations around the globe, recycling has become an increasingly important way to utilize many of the limited resources of our modern world. However, a great deal of the material that can be recycled ends up thrown in with the rest of the trash. TerraCycle CEO Tom Sankey has stated, Typically 50% of what you put in your recycling bin is never recycled. It's sorted and thrown out due to user error. What this statement means is that although there are designated bins for certain types of wastes, many people do not actually think about what they are throwing away, leading to the mixing of recyclable and non-recyclable materials. While recycling facilities utilize a great deal of technology attempting to correct the ignorance and carelessness of the general public, not all material gets properly sorted. This leads to wasted resources, both by the recycling facilities correcting errors and in materials that should be but never get recycled. The self-sorting disposal unit has been designed to bridge the gap between the personal responsibility of recycling and industrial recycling facilities. Being designed for use in areas such as malls, business centers, and educational campuses where recycling is already being implemented, the self-sorting disposal unit utilizes artificial intelligence to maximize the correct recycling placement by minimizing human error through the use of material identification and image recognition. The first sensing method employed is through magnetic induction. Two PCB inductor coils are connected to a TI inductance to digital converter, the LDC-1612. The LDC transfers the converted induction measurements to a microcontroller via I2C protocol. These inductor coils act as metal detectors, allowing for an effective method of accurately identifying aluminum cans. The second identification method is an image processing unit. A Raspberry Pi 3B Plus microcontroller, utilizing the open source machine learning software library TensorFlow, is connected to a Pi camera. TensorFlow takes a series of images depicting particular objects and trains the microcontroller to identify the specified objects from the video captured by the camera. As of this time, this unit can accurately identify both plastic and glass bottles. For the method of transportation, a conveyor system was chosen that would mimic those used in recycling facilities, but on a much smaller scale. This design was chosen for a smooth transition for the materials from identification to placement, while also allowing for a compact design. When an object is placed on the conveyor, a set of infrared beam sensors indicate that a material is present and the conveyor motor turns on. The material is analyzed by the induction sensor and image recognition module. When a recyclable material is identified, two servo motors divert the path of the material to a side exit leading to a recycle bin. If the material is determined to not be recyclable, it will pass straight to the end of the conveyor where it will be deposited into a trash receptacle. While a significant amount of work has been put into the design of this prototype, more is required to get to the point of it being commercially available. A case will be designed to house the sorting unit and bins, along with a holding container that will store unsorted material until space has been made on the conveyor. The conveyor system will also be enlarged, allowing for additional material diversions and bins. This will allow for recyclable materials to be sorted by specific types. To aid in the increased accuracy of material identification, additional methods of recognition will be employed as well as continually improving the quality of the image recognition module.